So if you are trying to get a headless remote desktop set up and you're running KDE Plasma with Wayland and it's somewhere close to January of 2025, hopefully this video can just save you a lot of time. And the short version is you're kind of screwed. All the different ways to remotely access and log into a desktop basically won't work. Any desk isn't going to work. No machine isn't going to work. Rest desk is not going to work. Using XRDP with Tiger VNC is not going to work. Your choices basically come down to A, ditch Wayland and go back to X11 and maybe things will work. Or B, you could switch to using GNOME for your desktop instead of KDE, but I mean, that's kind of distasteful, let's all agree. And that's kind of it. If you want to remotely log into your computer and access your desktop, those are basically your choices. Now, there is a third option, but it involves a big compromise, which is you would have to leave your desktop unsecured. And I say this because for the past several days, I've been wrestling with the problem of getting access to my desktop remotely. And it's something that I would like to do because I do this a lot with my computer at work, and it would be nice to be able to get access to my home computer with my laptop whenever I'm traveling so I can do, I don't know, remote video editing or something. And what I've found out is that this is currently just not a problem that has been solved yet, at least not completely. Now, it is a thing with Wayland, so if you're on Xorg, that's probably not an issue that you're going to face. But if you are running Wayland and you're running KDE, I'm just going to be blunt. This is a total show right now. And it wouldn't be so bad if you were running GNOME because they do have their own kind of built-in solution that I believe works, but I haven't tested it because I don't use GNOME. But since I'm a KDE running degenerate, I guess I'm going to get what I deserve, which is, I don't know, just crap right now. So at first glance, this seems like it wouldn't be that big a problem because if you go into your settings and you look for remote desktop, there is a built-in remote desktop application called KRDP. And all you got to do is say, hey, enable this RDP server. And once you've got this set up, yes, you can access your desktop remotely. And on Windows, that's going to come down to just opening up your remote desktop connection, accessing your computer's IP address. And here you can see on my desktop, I say share and allow restoring on future sessions. That means you only actually have to authorize this one time. And then here we go. I have access to my remote desktop. And I will say it's not crazy laggy. It does work. But you can see the desktop scaling is a little weird. And if I change my display, here you can start seeing some of the problems. I get weird graphical artifacts a lot through this method. And let's drop down the resolution here. And now you'll start to see some of the issues with this. It doesn't automatically rescale the display. And you can also see I don't have audio anymore. And so all of this means that uh, this isn't that usable of a platform even if it worked, and it doesn't work. And why doesn't it work? Well, I hid a trick from you. We skated right past one of the problems, right here where it says auto start on login. That's right. This doesn't work to log into your computer. It only works after you have been logged into your computer. So yeah, if you want to remotely access your computer, you basically have to be logged in before it will work, which kind of defeats the whole process. Now, you can actually make that happen, but this is where I said, well, that involves a big compromise, which is you have to do auto log on. So in your settings, go to SDDM on your login screen, go up here to behavior, and here you can automatically log in with a plasma session. And what does this mean? Well, anybody walking past your computer will have access to your desktop if they turn your computer on because it's just automatically going to fire up and log in. And that may or may not be really what you would like to have. There's also the issue of even if it did work, again, you've still got graphic artifacts, you've still got bad scaling, you still don't have audio. So what else can you do? Well, like I said, realistically, nothing. There is no current way to log into a desktop remotely 
via Wayland that I am aware of. By the way, even if you are willing to just auto log into your desktop, a lot of the clients out there for remote desktop access still don't work correctly. So let me show you a few of them. One of the pieces of software that people recommend that you use is something called No Machine. And I have No Machine installed. It's actually running right down here right now. I've already got it installed. All right. So let me show you what happens when you use No Machine. So on my Windows laptop, let me fire up No Machine. And I've already got this all configured. So let me get into it. And right here, I can click on my Fedora desktop and hit connect. Go through the authentication. You can see on my remote desktop, it gave me access. And here we open it up. And yeah, nothing. Just nothing. Because, uh, again, Wayland's just not completely supported right now. It's just buggy. So, yeah, no machine currently does not work. My machine thinks it's being viewed. But, uh, yeah, just can't get can't get video. Um, and this is not, by the way, because I am screen recording right now. I have tested this without all that. And you just get either a white screen or a black screen. It does not actually give you any video. And uh, I believe there is still no audio either. All right, next up, a lot of people will suggest Rust Desk, and Rust Desk is a very nice program, uh, but let me show you what happens whenever you try Rust Desk. Once again, I'm on my Windows laptop. Let me open it up, and here you go. Now, the first thing I will say about Rust Desk, man, does that look great. Everything is super duper smooth. Um, the interface scales appropriately, but you know, here I've got a window that just closed and on my desktop it's gone and then here on rust desk it's not because again we got a few bugs let's open up a video so the video plays but on my remote client no audio again there there's just some stuff that's not completely working yet on wayland with this interface so i've just man i mean yeah you just got weird stuff so I don't necessarily have major problems with Rust S performance. Again, my desktop scales fine, but again, you just get graphical artifacts sometimes and I don't have audio, so it's just not going to work. And this still can't log in. Again, no machine, uh, Rust S, they still can't log in. I also mentioned a lot of people will suggest doing something like XRDP and uh, Tiger VNC, but that has to use X11. I also did try that. I installed the Plasma X11 desktop back because Fedora 41 has removed that. Um, tried them, and what happened? Well, again, it worked. I was actually able to log into my desktop, but I didn't have audio. Uh, I couldn't play videos because it couldn't work with my GPU because it wasn't configured to work without Wayland. Uh, there were just a lot of problems there. I'm not going to show you because I've already removed that. And so where does that leave us? Is there anything that actually works? And again, no, not if you want to log in. But let me show you one thing that does work if you are okay with just doing auto login to your desktop. And it's been running the whole time. It's right down here. You see this little weird halo thing. This is a program called Sunshine. Sunshine is based on NVIDIA's old GameStream implementation, which they don't support anymore. But Sunshine is an open source version of that software that can work to serve your desktop as a streaming video to a client. And the client is called Moonlight. And so here's what Moonlight looks like. It's super easy to use once you get it configured. Here's my desktop. Let me open it up. All right, now here we are. And once again, Scaling works great. There is a little bit of lag on the interface, but understand that your GPU is going to be encoding a live stream for this. So it is using your GPU basically to create a video stream, uh, and then it outputs that. Now, the benefit of that is everything works. The scaling works because it's you're just viewing a video. The audio works because it uses all your native desktop stuff and then encodes it in a video stream. So one thing people may be curious about with the uh, the Visigoth is kind of what it looks like there. So as you can see, I've got audio coming from my desktop and the performance is frankly pretty good. I am going to attempt to edit this video 
remotely with DaVinci Resolve and see kind of if there's anything else that I find out. Um, I will you know, put a little comment here if that ends up working or not working. But yeah, this is basically what I'm going to go with. Now, getting sunshine and moonlight set up is a little tricky, so I'll probably just put that in a separate video rather than trying to put it here. But um, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Uh, right now, like I said, if you're running KDE and you're running Wayland and you want to remotely log into your desktop, I just there is no way to do it. You can only make this work if you auto log in to your desktop and just have it unlocked the whole time. So that's currently what I'm doing for testing. I am hoping that somebody gets that sorted out, you know, but look, it's open source. Uh, people are going to work on this if they want to. And if this isn't a high priority in the community, then who knows how long this will take to get running. Uh, if you know better, if, you, if you're one of those people watch this video just mad saying, hey, you should do this, please let me know. I am not, I am trying to find a good solution and I can't find one yet. So please, if you know better, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, that's all I got right now. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.